Okay. second break. This is the third break. This one. Okay. Grabs the hand. This one. Okay. Inside hand. Grabs the hand and you hit. Actually you hit. Okay. And kick at the same time. Alright. So you actually have him control this way. The short way of doing it is do a it. short kick. Okay. The right hand comes this way. Alright. So you're actually switching. See. You're actually. Oh, okay. Do this way. Yeah. Are you switching? And then the thing is, is from here, you can either go on the top, kick, all right? I don't have to kick high. I can kick, all right, and go this way. Yeah. Or the thing is, is or I can go hit here, okay. pushing back, as, and as, you, as I push you back, I kick. Okay. The other way is, same idea. Look at it. Give me the left. I hear. Remember? Here. This way. And kick. This way. So you you have the right hand. Okay, I cover all. You turn this one. I cover up here. Come back, and then the oh well. No, if I had your foot in here, I would try. Okay. It's down this way. Okay. This is just an addition. You're not punching someone down there in the ground. You're actually pressing him. You're locking him. Uh, Give me the left, right foot, right foot, left foot. Here. Here, okay. And I'm just gonna do it here. You're normally you do it lower. Okay, I have you locked in and then press down. Okay? You got that? It's very easy. This type of Tai Chi is very, very quick. Yeah. Yeah. But a lot of the ideas are very uh, complicated and you gotta be real strong. The big problem with this Tai Chi is you got to work at it a lot, okay, for fighting wise. You got to practice a lot to get real strong. You have to get, you have to be really strong. Yeah. yeah. Okay, this is really, really strong. It's it's almost good. like for, for any Tai Chi, you have to know their obligations to be able to apply them, you know, because otherwise, you know, you can do the ghost. Ghost means that you're fighting. You never really know how much force you're well, yeah, you have to move. The, well, see, the big thing is, okay, you, I'm show, showing, just showing the technique. So you could actually do the movement a little bit better, okay? But at the same time, okay, what you want to do is do the flow, because, you know, you have a flow. Yeah. Everything's coming this way, and then the thing is coming back, going the other way. The thing is, this is a real, okay. 
That's a super good technique. I don't like the way it's set up because it's like behind it. It throws you all off because it's behind you. But I understand that they're trying to make you turn. You know what the most important thing about that one is turning. You know, you're from here and then you're turning. So the thing is you have to turn real smoothly like a wheel. See from here? See how see, okay, well. You see, it's really rough. And you turn. lift your foot up when you do that. You, you lift your foot up and move over. No, no, no. Just, no. Oh, no, it's just a small heel. You know, it's small. Oh, it's just a toe uh, move? Or? Yeah, it, no, just a very small move. It's not a big oh. move. Here, see? And then the thing is, you just open up. Yeah. All you do is, as you turn, you step. Yeah, yeah. But you have to lift slightly. Yeah, okay. There you go. Okay, no. No, but you still, what happened to this one? This one has to be here. See, when this comes here, it has to be out here over here. See, you turn, it's here. Okay, that's better. See that turn though? The turn is really, see you're actually, look, it's really smooth, but it's done slowly. It's to the chip, underneath the chip. Yeah, see, look, look at the chip. And it see it's a pu push and pull. See from here, look at it. this way. There you go. It's getting there. It seems like a really kind of natural move. It is a natural move. But you keep on grabbing. So you keep on wanting to grab. When you keep on turning, look at Bill. When you, yeah, Bill, oh, yeah. you keep having the hand open. This is like this, little boom. Okay. Just, okay, all right. Wait a second. Think of yourself clearing, clearing everything behind you. Oh, okay. Be like this, with a fist. Yeah. Let's see it continue. Look, see it. You understand what it is? Yeah, okay. You open, open hand again. Your right hand was opening, you keep on opening and trying to block. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. See, you, okay, you gotta get the whole, okay, the problem is, you gotta get all the ideas in. And this one is a little difficult because it looks, it looks more like this, but it's not underneath. And because you're hiding, okay. This particular chin punch, is you hide it. See, if you went like this, if you went close, see, this is, comes out of, okay. you see that? Yeah. Okay, when you forget about all the footwork, okay, then, okay, I want you to just keep your eyes open. Don't look at my okay. knee. All right? The concept is this way. See? This comes in this way. Okay, I'm doing it high so you can see it. Okay, because actually I like doing it low. So the thing is this hand, see, look at it. See, and then the last I should grab, see? From here, here. See, so first, look at it. This way. This one comes in this way. So, you know this way? Yeah. yeah. In actuality, you stretch it all out to uh, to to actually develop all your body. Okay. I know it's a little difficult, but see, 
here you suppress, you suppress whatever is in front of you. Then you turn, pull, but at the same time this hand comes up. Grab it. Oh, yeah, this. There you go. There you go. It takes a while. It takes a while. Boy, it, if you had to do chili foot, you would really go crazy. You know, chili, chili foot has a lot of that kind of movement, but it's different. It's like here, see? Same idea. Look like here, here. You probably learned something before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're getting into yeah. that old hat. Yeah, okay. Yeah, swing your whole body. Okay, look at that. You almost got it. You did it too fiercely. But the thing is, is your whole body. See, this is just not a, a fist. It's your whole body. Boom. Coming down on something. Boom. Up. Oh, that's a grab. The grab it. Okay, just look. Okay, Bill. Just take it easy and then. This arm moves with the whole body. Okay, when you have it this way, the whole, look at the whole, look at See this? The whole body is turning. The whole body is turning, boom. Okay, and you step forward, boom. And see how this goes? You're going here, boom. All right, go here. Okay. How do you do that? Right? Okay. Okay. Hey, okay. 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 Very, see, that's why it's easy for me. It's very similar. I see, like, or is it more vicious? Because it's here, here. Don't pull it in. Now, see, it's different oh, now. Oh, okay, that part is different. Yeah, okay. Okay, it's totally different from the other one. Switch, and see, it's from here, the shoulder. That's the hardest part. Shoulders pull, no, no. Sh look, at shoulders pull in as you turn. Pull it, look, at just go like this, really relax. Look, at can, can you do this? Pull in and then turn. No, the other way, this way, yeah. Yeah, okay, circling, circling. The hand circling, there you go. And then come here. Yeah. Oh, I used to do that. But now you left your bed. Okay, so on this first move, uh, looks like there's someone coming over here, right? And you go this one? Okay, no. The thing is, the person is still there. I showed you. Uh, still That's there. an awkward. Because it's still here. <clears throat> oh, okay, so he's still here. And no, no, no. From here, the shoulders come in and we turn. Then the left is almost like this one. This one. Okay? The, the left hand is on top of the wrist, okay, and you, like I said, you follow the Buddha, okay, down like that, that's, 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 okay, you follow around, all the way over to here, 
The right hand. The right hand should be. On the right hand, that's right. Yeah. No, no, okay. Just do one thing at a time. Okay? Pull the shoulders in. As you pull your shoulders in, it, the hand turns. See? From here, look, look at this. From here, pull. And you're in position. And then you turn all the way around. There you go. Okay, straight in the center. You got to get your waist. See, the thing is, your waist turns to your right. Yeah, okay. Turn to the right and then go back straight. See, turns here. And here. Think of it like this you're weighting up and pushing it out. Push, yeah, straight, straight. You're, you're lifting. You, you have a tendency of liking to lift. Okay. So here, pull in the shoulders and come around. Yeah, there you, there you, there you go. Good. See how that goes? Here. Keep it straight. I mean, keep it relatively, not exactly straight, but slightly bent. Not. That was too bent. Keep it open here more. Okay, too bent. Too bent. You only bend it when you got over to this position. Now you yeah, now you do. When you have this, then you bend it. But over here, see? Okay, look at yeah. from here. Think of it, you're making this big circle with your hands, see? Coming back, it's this way. Okay, look at from here. Shoulder, okay, from here. Shoulders come back slightly. This, and then you just turn. I don't think I could ever do that anymore. Look at it, man. I used to do that, be able to get over these eight foot fences. I mean, yeah. ten foot, four foot fences. I don't think I can even get out of here. No, no. You keep on, okay. You keep on bending. Look at it. Here. Hold. Get the shoulders back a little bit. It's an in between move. Okay, look at it. This, this is in between move. Okay, if you do it this way, look at it. If you do it this way across, it's too stiff. Right? If you did it this way and went like this, do it. It's too straight, right? No, no. Just do the hands like this. It's too straight, right? Yeah. So that has to be wrong, right? Yeah. You have to make a turn. So the thing is, the shoulders come in a little bit. Shoulders, see, just the shoulders come in, and then it, then this hand falls falls on top naturally. And there's no big bend. There, it's straight. The hand is actually comes out this way. Keep bending the, the hook down. Oh, this is really heavy. I better put touch on Yeah, he got me good. Okay? You see, okay, this is what you're doing, Bill. You're going like here, and then you're bending this thing totally. And you're losing it. Okay. The, the idea is you have to have your arms extended because you're actually doing, okay, from here. From here, this hand, remember? This is the arm bar. I'm leading, I'm leading the person with this hand, okay, leading, this one controls, okay, your back hand, although it's right here, this hand controls, so this, you have to have a lot of emphasis on this hand, because this is the hand that controls, not this hand, this hand leads, okay, leading means like this, like let's say, an easier way to understand it, like let's say there's a fist coming at me, I'm leading the person away, okay? See, with this, I'm just leading him away. I'm not blocking, mm -hmm. okay? I'm leading him away, and then this hand, this hand is the control. I can go down, I can go across, okay? I can snap, I can snap, okay, I can snap this way. I can, oh, okay, I can go down, okay? I can actually just lead in an arm, like an arm board, just have my hand underneath. So this you have to remember. One hand is leading, the other hand is controlling. So from here, 
to be able to be able to have the control, you have to have a little bit of leeway. And the little bit of leeway is your shoulders just sinking a little bit. Sink and then come back. Yeah, and, and your body. Yeah, that's good. Okay, and then come forward. There you go. Just do it smooth. Just and see, it's one move. It's from here. This is all one move. From here, excuse me. Starting from here, this is one move. As you lift. Okay. Very powerful after, I mean, it takes a while to, you know, it's so, so technical. Do you see it? See, you're circling. Okay, you're circling with your body. Okay, your hands just follow. Circle, yeah, no, circle with your body. Your body and your footwork is doing all the circles. Okay? All right, you're doing a little too much on the top and a little bit on the bottom. There we go. They did, yeah. Okay, once you get those heat, those, that movement of switching the weight, you, I don't know if you feel it. You yeah, this? yeah, sort of. See, you're shifting, shifting weight. And that's all you're doing. <clears throat> and you're controlling the person. Okay, remember, remember, you, you've heard it everywhere. The power comes from the legs. Translated through the waist. Up through your back, through your hands. Okay, so the thing is, always remember, okay, if your, hand, your, your feet are not moving correctly, there's no power. There's no real power, yeah. and there's no technique. Okay, I, I I look at it more like technique. You just don't have the technique for it. You know, you know what you did. You know, don't feel bad. You know, when I first learned this, everybody was doing it so badly. You know, uh, the teachers just said, oh, okay, just, just practice and I'll be back. He didn't come back for an hour. You know, and we did, uh, actually, I did a lot of practice, but a lot of these other people that were with me, they start talking a lot. You know, they did it, you know, maybe 10, 20 times, and then they start talking. I kept doing it. And so when he came back, you know, uh, he got really frustrated. Because the thing is, is no one could, he would correct and correct. And, uh, okay, this was Cam, uh, Cam Yun, okay, and uh, who actually is a teacher under Paul Lamb. And the thing is, he was very good, actually. He's actually better at another stop. But anyway, the thing is, is, he came back and I was the only one that was doing it okay. And even I was doing, still doing it wrong, you know? And then he goes, oh, I didn't know it was so difficult. Oh, it's so difficult, you know? And then like, yeah, it is difficult. And it's the main, it's the key to the style. And then, he te then he tells us, oh, that's the first principle. And I'll have to rather. So, I mean, I do that a lot. I practice that a lot. And even now, a lot. Some days I wake up, I can't get close to doing it right. It's a very okay. It is a very refined. This style, in many ways, is very refined. Refined. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that you can you can see its fighting aspect easy. Some other ones you don't. It's so subtle. There's all this subtlety to it. Try to do the whole thing. Let's let's uh, try to get the whole thing done. Here. Yeah. Whole thing close. No. Then you have to do a single whip. Oh, that's right. Uh, I think so. Okay. I got it. It's almost like that. My memory doesn't work. I have to start. No, that's that's natural. There we go. Here. Remember to really actually do your heel. You're just you're getting a little lazy with it. You know, on that foot. Two feet. Two feet. Oh, both. 
both feet. Yeah, that's okay. okay. Remember? That's different. Okay, okay. Different. Okay. You block high, block low. Okay, switch. Flap your wings and push your left knee. But that's okay. Continue. Okay. Let's start again, and I'm not. We're not going to stop. Okay. No okay. matter what mistake okay, you make, we'll okay. we'll correct the okay. mistakes at the end. You got to get a flow. Okay. Right now, you're not having a flow either. It's too uh, yeah. jerky. Center, open, close. Single okay. so whip. Range, uh, what? Spreads its wings. Okay. Open, close. You're back to open, close again. Okay. Open, and push, and then you do the arm. You're going to your right. Brush knee, break, no, break. You're going to the right. Excuse me, you're going, I'm sorry, you're going to the left. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Even you making me go feel it. Single whip again. Switch, Trinity. Step forward. Step back. Now you turn to your left. Just continue. Yeah. Push. Brush knee to your left. That's right. Yeah, yeah. No, no, the other way. No, no, no. You have to do three of them. That's one, two, two. And three. Break. No, you have to come. Come break. Underneath, the left, and the underneath. Open up, right over left, and then come up. Step forward and punch. There you go. Turn. 
Assault, back fist, step forward, uh, chin punch. There you go. Now, you gotta, okay, you know, okay, a couple things, okay, I can see your mind, okay, what happens, your mind freezes, and what you want to try to do is when you do a form, you have to let your mind just, I shouldn't say float, but the idea is just to flow, flow along. Don't stop your mind, because see, once you stop, like, where, what should I do, and then everything stops. Yeah. Okay, you should just, okay, if you're in a position, just try to make a move or something, all right? Right now, okay, this will help you in the long run. If you do, okay, what happens, a lot of people develop a lot of stops. And as they, as they get better, they will still have those stops. You can actually see people who've done that. Oh, how long have you done? Oh, I've done it five years. And you see them have all these little stops because mm -hmm. they've never been able to get out of that habit. Try to keep on flowing, you know, flowing along if you can. You know, or just do a move. And then the thing is, is they'll come back to you. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You know, like if you're going here and then, oh, what do I do next? Oh, well, then I'll just go back to here, you know, and then I'll come back, come back to this one again. You know, if you're here and then the thing is, you don't know what to do, you go, well, I know I have to turn. So you just automatically don't do the in the punch underneath and go back. You can just actually go like this, you know, to be continuous. Because the key to doing this to get a lot of benefit is to keep on flowing along. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, because not only your body, your body can't stop, your mind doesn't stop your mind. Actually, in all these moves, your body, when you get a lot better, which is real difficult, your body doesn't stop, you know, like let's say you go here, your body doesn't stop here. Okay, your body stops, but your mind continues on. All the moves that they're fighting, the point of finale, which is called the point of finality, is the thing is just like here. It doesn't stop here. It just keeps on stretching, keeps on stretching, keeps on stretching, keeps on stretching. Okay. But this is later on. This is when you have, uh, okay, uh, a little bit more control when you when you learn the form. But you never, okay. Actually. The thing is, you actually continue, especially even like these. You don't just stop. You know, it's not a stop. It's like here, and you continue. Even when you pull back, okay, and then you come out. You never stop. But you also continue mentally, okay. Even if the physical stop, you'll you'll read it too. And a lot of times the books will say, even if your your physical stops here, your mind, okay. Let's say we stop here. Mentally, you're still going. Okay, so you're learning to project your um, okay. your energy. Yeah. All right, that takes a while. Okay, but uh, I think they don't emphasize that strong enough. Okay, and I was very lucky that my different teachers said, you know, it's continuous. And then first you think, okay, if you don't understand, then just think of it that you're going through a person's body. You know, which is sort of mean, but the thing is, is you know, like if you punch, you know, you know, the punch doesn't stop here. It's going right through, you know, beyond his spine, you know, out. And when you project that, you feel the difference. Okay, and what you, I think, but with your big thing is you keep on stopping to think too much. Let's try to do it one more time and try not to think about. It. Even if you screw up, <laughs> all right, don't don't stop. Try to continue, be continuous. Okay, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make any corrections. I'm just gonna let you do it. <laughs> I have those like, blank spots, but I can't remember. Yeah. I know, bitch. But, yeah. <laughs> Oh, um. 
we were doing that. Okay, that was that. Different, but, but see, but it's continuous. Yeah, yeah. Well, okay. That continuous. makes sense to continue. You gotta, okay, you gotta start learning just to be continuous because if you don't, uh, they, if you don't, then you start doing a lot of uh, jerky. Yeah. Your jerkiness. And don't go too fast, okay? You don't have to do that fast. It's, you know, it, uh -huh. you're, not, you're not fighting someone. It's easier to go fast. Yeah. I don't have to think about it too much. Okay, but it's that particular move. I did that very well from the very beginning because it's similar to the chili foot. And the thing is, is a lot of people couldn't get that because the turn is so difficult. The turn is actually for a lot of people, you know, the turning is very difficult. Yeah, so this, this transition after this, Is this where I'm at when I transition into the... No, you're up to here. You're I'm here. over here. See, but I, what I show you from here, because once you do it here, this, see, once uh, it's here, okay, this yeah. goes back. See, okay, goes, and it steps back. Yeah, okay. steps back. Okay, I mean, okay, that okay. foot, see, because you go here, and then the, when the right hand, right foot goes right back, it's right, it's really easy. See, so from here, just like that, you know? The, from here, and then this one is really easy too because the thing is, is you know, you actually all you got to remember is from here you turn, and then that means your two feet will be will be parallel, and then you just turn and then kick. This one's a crossover, and then kick, and then you go center line. See, like here, there. Remember, I told you both are 45. One kick is 45. The other kick is 45, so that means you have the center open. So you go here, and then you have the leftover right again, the same idea, and then it opens up, and then punches, turn. You're a little off, but I mean, the thing is, it takes a while to get centered, okay? All these got to be centered, but I mean, the thing is, that takes time. There's no... Uh, in any way, we're not in a competition or anything. You know, you're just, you know, and then you, all you want to do is flow. Make it flow. You know, you should notice your breath changes when you kick. So, uh, okay. When the kick is out, it's exhale, right? Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that now. Okay, usually when you do kick, it's an exhalation, but okay. don't, okay. Don't set it in, in, in stone, okay? Just try to get the two kicks up, you know, the first one, you know, and then the second one. Okay. See? Uh, you know, that's... And you, since you can kick much better, and what you want to do is go for your head no. as high as you can. I had, I had high. Well, that's just to stretch it. Okay. Okay. The first one, remember what I told you? The first one... Okay, you can actually do both of them as heel kicks, which is more effective, but the thing is, but you can also do toe kicks, all right, which means, you know, you 
do it actually with your toe as you come up. You can do both. And then actually, yeah. And that looks it looks nicer that way because you know your hand. I, if you see some pictures of some, you'll actually see they're kicking way up and they're like this. You know, it looks really beautiful. But I mean, you only should okay. The real height is only waist high. The kick is only waist high. But for training, for your practice, to get more limber, you go up to your head. Oh, okay. It's not a head. It's not uh, mm -hmm. kicking to your mm -hmm. head, but it, it's the idea is to stretch your leg, to loosen up your leg.